on smartphones and tablets that ship with Android 7.0 Nougat and higher, Google has implemented a new type of update process for over-the-air updates. Now before you would get an, a notification, you'd have to tap that notification and then tap the download and install button. It would download the update and then prompt you to restart the phone to complete the installation. Google is calling this new update process seamless updates and they're able to do this because multiple partitions on these phones and tablets now that ship with Android 7.0 are duplicated. This works very similarly to how Chrome OS works to where you won't even get a notification to download the update. It will just download in the background and then whenever it's ready you'll be prompted to reboot the phone or tablet. However, sometimes people might not want to update their phone automatically. Whether they've made changes, whether they're working on something important, a lot of times they don't want a update being downloaded and installed in the background. Thankfully, there's a way to disable the this OTA automatic update and to do that we're going to need to launch the settings application and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down and if you haven't already enabled developer mode you'll want to tap on about phone and then tap that build number option about seven to ten times until it tells you that you are a developer then you'll just want to tap the back button go into developer options and then if you scroll down a little here you'll see an option called automatic system updates just a simple toggle by default it's set to on and you'll just want to toggle that off with that option off the system updates will not happen automatically so you don't have to worry about the update being downloaded in the background and installed without you knowing. This is also great for carrier devices after an exploit has been discovered that will unlock the bootloader or even root the device. A lot of times these carriers will push out an update that will patch that hole. And for somebody who wants to unlock the bootloader or root later they can just disable this automatic system updates and then they won't have to worry about not being able to unlock the bootloader or root their device in the future.